Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me today. Love and beauty are always near. There was a book written some time ago which shared an angelic communication regarding seeing through this veil into the world of spirit. This book started off by saying a living sense of unity with nature must be reached till you can see yourself in every tree, every flower, in every blade of grass, in every passing cloud. And when you realize that the manifold diversities which compose a valley or a garden, a wide panorama of mountain, sea, and sky are but expressions of the one self which is in you and of which you are a part. Now, it went on to say that in addition to a deeper appreciation of the beauty of nature, there must be that reverence for all forms and moods and all the manifold expressions of nature, which springs from a recognition of the presence of the divine, of which nature is a form. And all of these beauties are outward expressions. Now, the philosopher Thoreau said, it is not what you look at, but what you see. A sacred scripture shared, we, not, we do not see things as they are. We see things as we are. Now, when we think and act in beauty and truth, we become expressions of all the harmonious forces that keep the universe in order. Plato said, the true secret of reaching higher realities is to go through the beauties of the earth step by step, and it will mount you upward till you, find, till you see the final beauty. The walker of the sky beholds things beyond the seas and stars. Here's the language of the divas and perceives what is passing in the mind of the ant. The Kabbalion, a sacred text says, the all is in all, and all is in the all. This has been forged in the mind of our creator, all that you see. It is part of a never ending song of the creator. You are the light you seek. You are a child of delight. You don't find it, you are it. So as you allow the greater awareness that has been hidden from your view to resonate with the beauty and the love that surrounds you, you will experience a new dimension of understanding. You are that beauty. So let go and allow yourself to relax and trust that that greater awareness within you will melt the illusions that have been formed before your eyes. Remember, it is not what you look at, it is what you see. Now I wanna share a poem of mine that came at night. Just like Pegasus, you will fly, reaching heights within an inner sky. Traveling vast distance while in starry flight, you learn many lessons during your night. Listen closely and have no fear. Your own loving spirit friends are always near. Open your heart so that your eyes see clear. Then all works of the creator you will hold as dear. I love you. You are a soul. You are power. You are light. And you are love. Until we meet again, blessings.